Hey internets, Pixel Geek here for my second Tools of the Trade video. Today I'm going to help you tackle a problem that web designers have nowadays. It's the problem of mocking up inside of Photoshop. So now that we have responsive design, you would have to mock up a landing page or a website in one canvas size for desktop, then another for tablet, then another for mobile. You're not really addressing anything in between or even further on each side. Uh, and this is where Photoshop loses its, its, its edge as the main go-to tool for web designers. It cannot be responsive. But now there is a tool that can do that and also reduce your time between what you've been doing, Photoshop document to HTML. So let me show you Webflow. This is uh, Webflow after you've logged in, created an account, and so forth. I'm going to quickly show you how I would create a landing page for, say, a dog charity called Fa uh, Face Foundation. Okay, you just choose a website name and this subdomain. It'll work right off the bat once you're done publishing, and it could and Webflow can be your actual web host if you want it to be. So that's pretty cool. You can choose any uh, preloaded template and then just go to town with it. Or you can start a little bit further back where you have no preloaded elements, just the grids and some pre-positioned elements. Or what I like to do, starting from scratch. So I'm going to create a template, create a website, and here you go. So this completely replaced Photoshop for me in my everyday workflow. Uh, I only use Photoshop what it's meant to be used for. Uh, editing rasterized images. That's it. It's not meant for web. Well, this day in this day in the age of web. So here we go. I'm going to put in a HTML5 section. Put in a 960 container. Now I'm going to put in an image. Let's put in the logo. So let me go find that. Here we go. Boom. Wait for it. There we go. Boom, got my logo. Now, hmm, that logo needs some space at the top. Well, let's do that. We're going to call this container the 960 container top top container. Just name name it whatever class you want. That's your CSS class. Now you have access to all the CSS stuff that you would ever need. So, let's do something simple like adding a top margin. I'm going to hold uh, I'm going to hold Alt, so it'll do the top and bottom at the same time. If I let go of Alt, it'll only do the top, but I want to do top and bottom. Click and drag, and you see it happening right here, guys. It's Photoshop for web designers, but not Photoshop. And better. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. Uh, this body, this body tag right here, it kind of needs a background because I'm redesign. I'm kind of copying their current website and their current website isn't responsive so I took some of the elements off of their website da, 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 da. let that upload cool done hmm not so nice but it's okay because this one will get a padding of say 10 and I'm just going really fast guys 10 and 15 gonna add a border radius say 10 on the top left, 10 on the top right, and we're going to fill the background with white. And look at this. We're already going to town. We're already going to town. Uh, let me get a light brown for a bottom border. I'm going to click that. Style solid, one pixel. Going to town, peoples. Did that even register? Did I get that? Oh, that's very light. All right, I'm just copying the uh, hex colors that they already have. All right, next up, let's add in another section. Actually, let's get this. Remove the margin. So you can slow down the video anytime, or pause just to, or rewind to see what I'm doing. But I'm so used to this tool, so you can you can see how fast I'm doing things. I love it so much. We're gonna call this Hero Herp. Hero container. 
color the background. Oh, actually, actually, let's do this. I'm gonna call this hero, and this one has a background that I've made. Let's upload that image. Dum da dum da dum. Let's go. All right, and how big was that image? Uh, 346 high so I'm gonna put my height right here 346 pixels boom and then this one let's just put 346 as well so you can do anything you want and, and look at this even position advanced you got everything you need right here it's so dang powerful I can't get enough of this tool so I'm gonna put an image let's say upload image the little hero shot of sad, sad looking puppies. Mm. So this hero container, um, this one I'm going to say, how about this? This one is going to be relative, while this one will be sad puppies. This one will be position absolute, and we're going to float it to the top right. Top right, zero, zero, and there you go. Let's add in a heading. And it says, what, what are they all about? Let me go to their page. Saving pets and helping families. Saving pets and helping families. You can't see it because my width. Let's say width is 30%. So something like that. 30%? Yeah, like that. But let's do position absolute and float this to the top left and there you go but I want the z-index to be 10 and this guy's z-index to be 9 so that way if this goes over say it'll still stay over like that and you know what it also come uh, it also comes with bugs <laughs> just a little bit but it's very refined this oh my god 40% there now if I don't touch it there we go there okay cool uh, Google web fonts already preloaded in here and if you want to add more you can in the uh, if you click on this home button right here there's more tools to play with you can add in your own so I'm gonna put let's see let's see here which one looks sad but happy at the same time We'll just do that one. That one's nice. Play with your kerning a bit. Like say, say one. No, it won't work. Oh, I guess not. Hmm, that usually works. Okay. Playing with. Look at that. Look at that. So whatever you want to do, boom. Play with your letting, and you can hold shift. And press the arrow keys for uh, to go down 10 pixels. It's really nice tool. And there we go. We got. I don't want to make this video too long, but you see where I'm going with this. I'm just having too much fun right now. Like I can't stop myself. I know there's some design rules I'm messing up, but it's just a quick video. Ah, uh, I need to do more. I want to do more. Okay, I'm gonna stop right now. But here's the magic, right here on the left. Magic. Now I have media queries and I can reposition anything I want. See the screen? It means I'm in tablet mode. Now I can add a new class or just play with it and I'll add a media query. And then we add another media query and then another one. So fun. And then you can refine it. How? By this magical button right there. Export code. Holy crap, export code. Prepare the full zip and go to town on your own IDE. Holy crap. Goes even further. So let me click the home button. Versioning. What? Versioning. Yes. Google Web Fonts. You can load it or add in your own type kit kit API thing. Custom domain. For eight bucks a month, you can have them have them host you. SEO, got it. Analytics, put your Google ID. Forms, oh my god, they got it. Custom code, put anything in the head tag. Yeah. 
it made me excited in the pants too. Alright, tell me what you think about Webflow and if you learn anything, if you have any other topics or whatever, leave a, co a comment below or send me a tweet at the Pixel Geek. Uh, if you want, please subscribe and hopefully I can give you more tips or you can give me more tips because I would like to hear them. Let's all learn together to make the web more beautiful. Thanks.